12 times animals died in the hippo jaws. The jaws of this mighty hippopotamus are clearly very underestimated. What, you don't believe me? Zebras, crocodiles, and even lions. No one is saved from their wrath in the wild. Let's take a look. The king of the jungle was hungry and wanted a good meal for himself. He chased an impala, but while running, the poor animal got stuck in the mud. The lion began waiting for the impala to come back on land. Meanwhile, a hippo straying in the mud got bored of all this and viciously attacked the poor impala with his powerful jaws in an attempt to kill him. He thrashes the animal, and at the end, you can see his lifeless body still stuck in the mud beside the hippo, while the lion disappointedly just stands there. This doesn't stop here, as many animals have to be aware of some of these mostly herbivorous animals too apart from crocodiles and other aquatic beasts while crossing the water bodies. Zebras are the main target of hippos, predominantly calm. When these beasts get mad, they wreak havoc upon the animals. It's even been seen that at these times they become carnivorous. Just as here, these hippos got really mad at this zebra and began to attack and eat him alive mercilessly. It's three versus one, so the zebra has no chance against these mighty jaws. He surrenders peacefully. After seeing a delicious meal in the jaws of hippos, a group of crocodiles comes to investigate the matter. Well, we all know, after the hippos will vent their anger, the crocodiles will enjoy this tasty meal for themselves. Well, one can't blame them, as who doesn't like free food? Are you convinced yet? Well, what about a crocodile? Does a croc getting smothered enough to convince you? Huh. This croc here was really confident as he directly swam in the territory of hippos, where dozens of them were bathing cozily, and it really offended them. They all charged at the lone croc, biting him off one by one. Now, why are these hippos doing this? Because they got defensive? As the herd maintained many children too? So they taught this crocodile a nice lesson to never mess with the community of hippos ever again. It was indeed a miracle that it got out of there alive. But my guess is that the extent of injuries it's undertaken, the croc will most likely not survive. Well, this is what you get when you show up at a party where you aren't welcome. Well, now you'll be thinking that this was a large group of hippos. That's why they got by so easily. But what about this one? Here, a lone hippopotamus and a crocodile are wandering in the water. They aren't exactly alone, as there's an antelope under the water, too, who was most likely killed by the crocodile. The hippo was already in a bad mood, so he decided to chomp on the croc's lunch. But wait, what's happening? The crocodile has no problem with it and swims away calmly. Now, what would you say, that he wasn't hungry? I think that animal should definitely be feared. Who scares crocodiles? The hippo then starts to munch on the poor antelope and begins to chew him slowly. Although hippos are herbivores, anger can make any of us react like a total savage. But these things only happen when a hippo is genuinely pissed. Other times, they also help prey to escape from a ferocious predator. Just in this instance, an impala was seen crossing the water stream when upon seeing him, a crocodile approached to hunt him down. But this is one lucky impala, as after catching a sight, a hippopotamus intervenes to save the poor animal. Two other hippos join him on this venture, and together they scare off the crocodile by attacking him instantly. After getting this golden chance, the impala runs away. Actually, the impala was so shaken up that he was fended off by a running hippo, who just wanted him out of his territory. Many say that this display of being a savior wasn't because hippos have good hearts, but because they just want the animals out of their territory. These beasties are actually quite territorial and often fight amongst themselves to assert dominance. Having said these animals aren't the ones to resolve the issues amicably, and the reason why they do this is obviously to score chicks. Whoever dominated the territory scores the most number of chicks. These two here are angrily fighting for a mate. Look how they intimidate each other by opening those big jaws. These kinds of fights can go on for hours as no one is ready to let go. This savage one bites the other one's head with its four tusks, bringing the fight to an end. Well, we gotta know who's going to get the most number of gals. Well, come on, look at this other pair in a literal deathlock. 
The one who has embedded his tusk on the lower one isn't ready to let him go just yet. He's even started to bleed, but his fellow doesn't care. I wonder what he did to make him so mad. After sensing that his grip is getting loose, the hippo suddenly pulls out his face from his jaws. He runs for his life. But the mad one says, not so fast, my friend, and begins to follow him. The first one can't seem to run very fast due to his injury and again gets caught by him. The sturdy one takes him underwater in an attempt to finish him off. Sometimes they go to some serious lengths, too. This baby hippo was swimming across the lake with his mother. All was merry when suddenly a male hippo came charging at him with full force. The infant tried to escape but was no match for an adult male. With a single stroke, the adult male took away his life in just a couple of seconds and drowned his body. The mother goes underwater to investigate and is still filled with hope upon seeing the body of her child starts nudging him to wake up. But he's already gone. Infanticide isn't common in hippopotamuses, so this one just did this to make the female available to mate with him. Disgusting, I know, but that's nature for you. Look at this angry hippo who smashes this poor antelope and gave him up as a prize to these wild dogs. Let's rewind to what really happened. So these wild dogs were trying to kill it, but suddenly the hippo swooped in like a savior to fend off the dogs. It looks like he's the hero of the story, but wait, after some time he got irritated by this intervention of peace, and this time when the dogs came, the hippo picked the poor animal in his jaw and smashed it towards the dogs who were waiting for their lunch. It indeed was a stroke of luck for them. This crocodile was seeing this group of wildebeest crossing this river and decided to munch on one for lunch. He drowned him underwater. Just then, a hippo comes by and seems as if he'll help the wildebeest, but the animal helped the croc by drowning his prey so that the whole endeavor would be over soon and he'd enjoy his peace again. This rhino was just minding his own business standing on the bank of this river when two hippos came out of nowhere and charged at him. The hippo even bit him, and it looks like the fight would get more ugly but sadly, we only have this short clip. Finally, we have the epic pack of lions versus lone hippo fight. This pack of lions returned home unsuccessfully after their hunt, but lucky for them, a hippopotamus accidentally dropped by their territory. Maybe a lone lion won't dare to confront a hippo, but here they got lucky as a whole pack was present. They chased down the hippo and started grappling with him. Some went a little too far by embedding their teeth and eating him alive, that was because, one, the pack was pretty hungry, and two, it was easy for them to overpower an injured hippo. The hippo, however, tried his best to fend off all the lions, but they were too busy munching on him. Suddenly, the hippopotamus became so angry that he grabbed the one lion in his mouth. The sheer bite force of 2,000 pounds per square inch was enough to warn off all the other lions, and he ran away to rest in a river. The next morning, the injured lion suffered from a brain hemorrhage, and his right eye was also badly damaged and most likely died in a day or so. In the end, do you know that hippos poop to mark their territories?